Hi graduates, it's Stella from Maple University and this is Stella short and sweet preview for Tiny Epic Vikings from Gamelin Games. Ah, are you all Vikings ready to explore, gather resources, build and fight in these magnificent runic isles? Don't forget to please the gods to gain their favor in Valhalla. For the name of Thor, RAID! The game plays 1 to 4 players with mechanics such as hand management, area influence, and set collection. The game is of medium complexity. In Tiny Epic Vikings, players are Vikings, playing cards to determine their actions to explore, raid, harvest, build, and of course, to battle to gain the guard's runes, manipulate to increase the guard's fury, and to earn points from the runes. There are six different gods with various powers in this prototype. You pick three to use in each game and put the associated runes randomly at setup. The game goes for three rounds, and on each round, players draft Viking cards, each round starting with more cards. On a player's turn, they'll play a card, mostly using the leader brown action and optionally gain the bonus action if they meet the requirements. Place the card on their tableau and move to the next player. Those leader actions are move their ships, move their settlers, gathering resources or build boat or temple. When moving, player can also land their boat on docking space or a village to raid. Cause we Vikings, we like to raid, right? For raiding, pay the steel cost, gain the village token, and place your boat there. Then optionally send your settlers inland, paying food. If you have the most influence on that island, including your settlers, boat, and temple, then you gain the rune. Increase the associated guard's fury, and whenever another player exceeds your influence level, the rune moves to that player, increasing that guard's fury as well. By the way, village token is great. You can do bonus actions by discarding it to the appropriate spot or increase the guard's fury. So, raiding, building, sending settlers are all not free. So you have the harvest action to gain more resources. And expanding your territory is important by building boats and temples to make your gather action more powerful and to increase your influence. Player then leaves the played card on their tableau for the round. Then optionally, if they meet the runes requirement, which includes previous cards played on their tableau and island runes, then gain the bonus action. Other than the leader actions, player can also battle using the top red action. That's your strength number. If you are the first one, declare battle. Flip your card and declare which favorite card to fight for. Other players can either flip one of their cards to join the battle or do their leader action as before, ignoring the battle till everyone gets a chance to respond. If no one joins, that's okay. Then flip a random Viking card from the deck to fight with. Compare strength. The winner takes the favor card, get the resources and flip it face down for scoring at the end of the game. The losers? There's almost no losers here, I think. Because the loser's Vikings go to Valhalla, gain the benefit of its God's power, and this can be really good and almost like you want to lose sometimes. When players are out of cards, round ends, discard all Viking cards on tableau, draft new cards from the deck, and game continues. After three rounds, players calculate the runes they have from islands and on favor cards and the points of each rune depends on its guard's fury level. And the player with the highest points should become a real Viking and wins. There are a few interesting parts of this game. The multi-use card is one. You can use as action or battle or get rid of bad ones to lose battle to still gain a benefit. And also playing the card at the right time gives you more runes that you can take advantage of. Your strategy to try to increase the God's fury that you have the runes of is vital. Say, each C rune you have is worth 6 rather than 5 or 4, 
if the associated god is the one with the most fury, how do you increase their fury? By having their runes move hands, by putting the village tokens on them, and when a sea viking loses a battle. The rune on the favor cards worth a bit less, but still worth the collect for points. If you are a fan of the Tiny Epic Games and like the sound of Tiny Epic Blood Rage with a gentler battle and shorter gameplay, then Tiny Epic Viking is the one for you. So thanks for watching folks, check out Tiny Epic Vikings project page, I'll put the link in the description below. The components featured in this video are prototype, so rules and artwork are not final. You would help us by like the video, subscribe and hit the bell, and comments below if you find this video useful. I also share my board games journey on Instagram, so hopefully I will see you there too. See you next time!